Hey guys, it's Veron from Speak of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So, I did a sketchbook tour somewhat recently. Um, well, sort of recently, I guess. It's been a maybe probably a month or two since I released that video. And right after I finished this sketchbook, which is actually just a watercolor pad, um, it's the one that I've been using since June 2016, and I use it for my slightly more larger works. Uh, for my smaller works, I alternate between like this or this or maybe even my moleskin, but this is my large works paper. And I finally finished it and it endured, no, I used it from June 2016 to March 2018, like the very, very tail end of March. I finished using it on March 31st and let's go through it. So you might have seen some of the drawings that... Um, are on here because I did show them also during the other sketchbook tour of my actual sketchbook but yeah you, had, you didn't see some of these because like some I didn't record or did videos for them so this will be the first time you see them and please ignore my shadow I am standing up I should sit down maybe it would lessen the shadows did it, did it, did it? yes it did cool okay so less shadows cool so I always leave the first page blank for safety and the first drawing that we have is Yagen Toshiro from Token Ranbu. So this is done in watercolor. I did it on um, June 25, 2016. Uh, this was, I did this drawing like literally the morning before my graduation. So I was going to graduate that afternoon or that evening from college. And I was drawing this to like, I don't know, a stress relief, I guess, because like emotional pressure and all of that. So yeah, just. Yagan Toshiro, my favorite boy from Tohendandu. The second one is... Actually, I'm really proud of this piece even now. I'm sad that I didn't record the speed paint for this because like, I really do love how this turned out. Uh, this is my original character, Haito um, Rinon. Uh, July 13, 2016. Again, watercolor. Before I started my channel, I was really in love with doing these like galaxy galaxy stuff. Um... So, a lot of my works during in college when I took the art course or like the, the design course for my college, um, I used to do a lot of galaxy paintings and I was just completely in love with, it, with that technique. But I ended up sort of refraining from doing them for a while because it's, it was starting to get boring and a little bit repetitive. So, the next um, drawing is that of Kaito. He's a Vocaloid, and if you're not familiar with those, they are vocal synthesizing programs that um, you know take voices from real people like professional voice actors and singers uh, they take voice samples of sorts and um, you can make songs using those voices and Kaito was the first male Japanese vocaloid and he's honestly my favorite I even have a, a figurine of him here yeah hi Kaito so he's like my best boy <laughs> among all of the vocaloids uh, yeah, because I just love him so much. So this was done in June, July, August, 27, oh, August 7, 2016, and it was done to the theme and tune of Drop Pop Candy, so it has this really pastel, sweet, um, playful vibe to it. And Drop Pop Candy was originally by... Uh, I actually forgot who the jail singers were. It's either Miku and Rin or Rin and Luca. I'm not sure. Um, but I heard the cover of Kaito and Luca, and I really liked it, so I did fan of fan out of that. And I wanted to do an accompanying piece of Miku instead, which is the first Japanese vocaloid and the first female Japanese vocaloid. So it want I wanted this piece to accompany or sort of match and contrast Kaito's. So this was done in September 7, 2016. I really, I really love how this looks sort of like pastely but still darker than the one I did for Kaito. This next piece is... Do I have a recording of this? I'm not really sure. I think I do. It's also done August 22, 2016. And... Oh yeah! I remember why this is special. So I was using colored pencils with this. And... Um, a f apparently a fake Sakura Koi, uh, Sakura Pigma Micron brush pen, yeah. And the reason this is special is because I used colored pencils, which I wasn't particularly particularly fond of using. So I used this, which is a classics, 
And the reason that this is special, the background isn't just watercolor. It was a set of pens that I bought, or my pens bought for me when I was a lot younger. And they're supposedly watercolor brush pens. So they're, Bien, they're by Bien Fang, and it's supposed to be from the company Speedball. It was 929 and I bought this how many years ago. But the thing is, they are sort of water soluble, so you can see me like using it to like um, draw out the color a bit. But the difference is, I used this primary blue, and it is indeed a brush pen. But when I set it down here, no matter how fast I water that down, it will always leave a demarcation line like this. So it's not really watercolor per se, but it's just water soluble something. <laughs> And I don't even know how to use like this this like blender water brush part of theirs because like I tried filling it in and eh, I don't know how to figure it out. This was the last time I used these because like really they they pale in comparison to usual watercolors and I might as well not use them. So I ended up yeah that's why this is a little special because like I didn't expect it to turn out this good despite using that thing because I really don't know how to use it properly. And also these colored pencils, I'm, I don't know, I'm not that good with them. It's a little tough to layer because it's waxy and all of that and yeah. But I did use it and it did turn out pretty good. I kind of, I still do like how it turned out. Okay, next. Aha! Aha! <laughs> so, this is Saber from Fate Stay Night or Fate, the Fate series in general. She is also known as Artoria Pendragon from the Knights of the Round Table from the English legend or British legend of Arthur. Arthur. So if you're familiar with Excalibur and all of that, this is the fake version of Arthur. Uh, yeah, I love her. I've loved her since the 2000 and what, 2009 anime, I think. Um, yeah, and I've been hooked on fate ever since then. So this was done in, let's see. October, I guess. Yeah. May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, October. This is the, this is done in October 21, 2016. I really love her fl fluffy coat. I should probably link the speed paints for these. Okay, I might. I might. So this is Victor or Young Victor from Yuri and Ice. I was in love with that anime so 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 much. Um, I could have done a lot better with this drawing, but I was just so pumped to get it out and to draw it and to finish it that I sacrificed a lot of like details and anatomy and proportion and yeah but yeah but yeah uh, I love Beauty and I so much I also like how this turned out like I really like the color of the hair and like I really like his pants good job me so this was done in November 24 2016 yeah. next another night at the round table Oh, this will be a spoiler. If you're playing Fate Grand Order and you don't want to know the identity of Mashu's um, fused spirit, you might want to cover your ears for like, I'll just say, I'll just be like this if it's good to hear. So cover your ears now, thumbs down, and I'll say it. So Mashu's uh, demi-servant, fused servant is uh, Galahad from... The Knights of the Round Table, so that's why she's also included in the Knights of the Round Table series. So, we're good now. You can listen back again. Cool. Uh, yeah, right. so, you just heard the explanation why like Mashu's part of the Knights of the Round Table, but Mashu is sort of your, like, guide slash kohai in Fate Grand Order, and she's always there with you. She's a shielder servant, which is a special class that only Mashu has, and yeah, I just decided to include her. And I really do love how I did this, like, the draping thing, and I really like how this, like, contrasts and stuff. So, yeah. Her shield in the background's huge. It's not that big. <laughs> I don't know why it's that huge, but whatever. This is done in December 10, 2016. And I ripped something out. Don't know what that is. Oh, here. One of my first, first-ish uh, multimedia pieces. Well, no, it's not really the first. It's like more like one of the rare multi multimedia pieces. So, the concept here was I wanted the girl sort of 
laying down on water or snow or ice or something like that, surrounded by roses and flowers. So that's pretty much the concept. And I used watercolor for this part. And this is also watercolor, except I used colored pencil and the Faber Castle Pit Artist pens, which are the Inja ink markers, to create the definition and stuff like that. So it's super multimedia. It's really mixed media. Oh no, it's not. It's mixed media, not multimedia, lol. Whatever. <laughs> so I wanted to go with a slightly more delicate, uh, whimsical feeling piece, and this is how it turned out. Uh, this was done in January 19, 2017. Aha! The next one. So this is Gawain from Fate Extra. Uh, also a Knight of the Round Table, so that makes them three in that series. And yeah, Gawain's drawing was sort of based off his armor as well. His armor has a lot of like flower decorations on it, so I included that in the background. I really fell in love with his teal turquoise ish cloak so I focused on that quite a bit but yeah you have Gawain from Fate Extra this was done in March oh it's been a year no March 5 2017 this I know that there's a big gap between oh no it's a month okay never mind this is done in April 3 2017 um a really really intricate piece I got the Faber Castell polychromos for my graduation gift from college. Cause you see I graduated twice in college. Um first was in twenty fourteen for um a social science course and then the second time was for information design, which is a graphic design course. So this the, I got the polychromos as my second graduation gift. My first was this, my laptop. Um, but yes, my, my second graduation gift. I talked a lot about it, I think, when I in the speed bait of this. But this was really tedious. I spent so much time on this drawing. <laughs> but yes, I do love how it turned out. It was my first time doing a full piece using colored pencils. So April 3, 2017. This is Gudako from Fate Grand Order. She is the one of the two playable masters. Uh, so if you pick a female gender, you get her. If you get the male gender, it's Gudal or Fujimaru Ritsuka. I picked female, of course. And yeah, basically I, I was drawing the servants a lot and I wanted to draw the master. So I did what I color. And this is one of the few drawings I didn't actually line it with a fine liner, but I lined it instead with paint, with, with what I color. So, again, links in the description. This is done in May, June, July, August. August 5, 2017. Why did I number? I like to just write the, the month names. Come on, Veron. <laughs> so, this is the accompanying piece. Again, I do I really like doing that. I like doing accompanying pieces. So, I did Gudaka first, like with a very curved and flame like vibe. And then for Gudao or Fujimaru Ritsuka, I wanted to go with geometric to contrast that and blues and greens of sorts. And while Gudako looks a bit more uh, proactive, Gudao's piece looks a bit more controlled and reserved. And yeah, this is also done in August. Is that correct? Yeah, August 12. So a couple of days apart only. Again, a ripped page. And this was my Christmas piece. So. The idea was a lantern prince. That's basically it. Or a guide, a dude holding a lantern, or a parol. Because parols are big things here in the Philippines of sorts. Like, it's a cultural thing, I think. So, I wanted a guy holding that. So, it was done in December 17, 2017. I didn't draw in November. Oh, because I was doing October in November. Alright, never mind. Yeah. So, this was done in blah, 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 blah. December 27. Yeah. I'm running out of words. Anyway, we're on to the last two pieces in the sketchbook. This is a bit more recent as of this voiceover at least. Um, this is my Valentine's piece because I think for the past couple of months between the Gudao piece and this one, I was using really small canvases instead. And 
I also did Inktober, so there's a good amount of time I didn't work on a big piece on this paper. And from what I remember, I wanted to keep on using my Sakura Koi watercolor palette. So that's like, a bit more vibrant and playful than the old pieces. Because like, the old pieces were on Reeves watercolor tubes. These are Sakura Koi um, travel palette. So yeah, it's my Valentine's piece. A lot of pink. But yes, this time February 1. Well, I have some time. February 1, 2017. Uh, 2018, rather. There. And this is the last drawing, actual drawing on the page. By the time I release this, it's probably out already. So this is Lancelot from the Knights of the Round Table. Um, so I picked it up after a year almost of not doing the Knights of the Round Table drawings. Uh, mainly because it got stuck on Lancelot. And I'll talk more about that in the actual video for Lancelot. But yes, this is Papalot. Uh, the fandom nickname for the Lancelot that's a saber and not a berserker. So this is Papalot. And yeah, I like how it turned out. Um, yeah. I really love the detail. And I was using legit Pigma microns on this. So yay, it turned out so well. And the last page on the sketchbook isn't actually art, but it was me testing out the materials that I had. So yeah, I have the Vienfa stuff here. Uh, the fake... Sakura Pigma Micron brush pens. Never order from Lazada like brush pens, like especially or if you order, be prepared to not get what you're actually trying to get. So I ordered a pack of Pigma Micron pens and I was excited because it had a brush pen and it was fake, it was not waterproof, it frayed so quickly. My guess and my best friend's guess was that um whoever was selling it had like original bodies. But the ink inside and possibly even the nibs were fake. So I'm a bit sad, but yeah. So it's just a test page. Nothing important. I can actually rip this out, but I won't anymore. But yes, that ends this watercolor pad. So actually, I do have for my Christmas Chris Kringle person knew that I liked art materials a lot. And she didn't know I had this particular pad and she got me the exact same one <laughs> she got me the exact same one which is good because i really love this pad and i don't think i'll be switching out from this pad anytime soon i'll be opening this soon since this is done finally and more drawings for 2018 okay hope you guys enjoyed um i'll see you again in my next video and yeah um.